So what is happening right now? Well, what is happening right now is I am unpacking the Christmas china. Super exciting because my mother's been collecting the Christmas china for years. My Aunt Merle actually used to buy my mother this is Spoge to buy it for her um, every Christmas, birthday, whatever occasion. So she has, well, she has like a 12 piece play setting and everything. So we have all of the Christmas china. And what I do is I take the china that we normally use, which most of it's in the dishwasher. And I pack that up and then we pull out the Christmas china and we use that. So I thought that while I'm doing this activity that I would get on here and talk a little bit about what goes on in real estate in the month of December. Because that seems to be a question that people ask me. Is it slow in December? Are you not so busy? Well, you know, honestly, things have changed so much with the pandemic and everything going on. But I'm not 100% sure when the season is now. <laughs> Used to, I would say, that, you know, the end of the year and the first part of the year is usually your slowest time in real estate. Most people are not buying houses. Obviously, they're still people out there buying and there's still people out there selling during those times of month. Because the weird thing is, y'all, the military and the big corporations tend to transfer people around the holidays. I've noticed that. So you will get a lot of the military and um, corporate relocation during those months. But Typically, over the years, I have, um, I don't know, I, I usually close between two and four deals a month in December, which, you know, seem like a lot. Like this, like this month, I'm only closing two deals. So, to me this December is actually a slower December than past December. Because I, I want to say last December, I had like four or five. But, um, so this one's a little bit slower. But for the most part, I mean, people are still calling. People are still out there wanting to list houses. I mean, I got a phone call this week wanting me to come look at their house to list it. And I got a couple of new buyers so we should be starting out the new year with a bang. So to answer your question, if you are thinking of selling your house in December, yes, it is a good time to sell. Um, it's also a great time to get the professional pictures taken because of your decorations. They're very lovely in the pictures, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, and if you're trying to buy in December, Yes. Again, I know a lot of people are like, oh, we don't want to be moving during the holidays. Or they say that, and then it never ceases to amaze me how many people actually do um, move during the holidays and, and close at Christmas time and Thanksgiving and all that. So, yeah, I don't, to answer your question, I, I don't think anymore that the month of December is a bad time to list or sell. I think it's actually a really good time to list or sell. <gasps> Look at this one. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. This one's $19.99. Oh, I love this. The fun part about pulling all this stuff out. And now, and then I have to empty this dishwasher from the dirty dishes to pack up those dishes that are in that cabinet and then load it up with these dishes and then put them in the cabinet. What time is it? Oh my goodness, it's 8.30. I'm going to be doing this all night. <laughs> so anyway, that would be my answer to the December question. Is it a good time to lose yourself? And let's just think about December for a little bit. With the whole um, 
holidays and the decorating and and how festive everything looks and all like i said it the pictures look fabulous okay so now we're in a seller's market so i i always take professional have professional pictures done of a listing and do the professional video i always do that um regardless of the market that we're in that's just something that i mean i feel like it should be done on, on every listing so i do but when it comes to listing homes during the holidays and the decorating if the home has not sold by january then you're going to have to call your professional photographers back out and say we need an update because you don't want to be advertising a home for sale in january with christmas pictures um that is a no 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 you don't want to see that so you'd have to update the pictures but because right now we're totally a seller's market houses are selling so that would not be an issue that's just a, a little housekeeping tip for you there on listing your house in december check out this one put that on top I think another thing about December closings oh another one oh this is 2002 that one was 2001 <laughs> I told you she's been collecting these for a long time but um another thing about December and marketing during the holidays um is that You've got to keep in mind that if people are coming in and out and through your house and everything and, and you'll have presents hidden and different things like that. So you've got to be mindful of all of that. People, people looking in closets and, you know, because why not? That, oh, that's another thing. When I'm going through, I do a lot of video tours, like just for my clients on houses that are not my listings that they're looking to purchase. And one of the main things that everybody wants to see that they don't really see in the professional pictures that we we have taken as realtors is the size of the closets and getting the closets. So when I could do my my virtual tours for people, um, for, for buyers, I open up all the closets and walk in them with the camera and walk pan around and show them how big the closet is because that's important. So if you're listing your house in December and you've got gifts hidden in the closet, you might want to think about that. I'm just saying, just saying, because that would not normally happen if it was not Christmas, right? Okay, so I'm going to continue to, what is this? Oh, it's the bottom part of a penguin. It's a little cookie jar. It's also one of the, these are one of mine. These are one of the things that I take to, well, when we used to do open houses at, at Christmas time, I would take little things like this with, with little Christmas cookies and stuff in it for people as they come tour the home. Of course, I went and bought the Christmas cookies from a local bakery, Allie's and Rinkin, um, because I don't bake. <laughs> um, I'm not a baking kind of realtor. Mom, daughter, person, I don't bake. So I feel like you should support your local bakers. <laughs> and I'm very good at that. So that I will do. But since the pandemic, we don't really do so many open houses anymore. And even if we do by chance have an open house, we don't offer food because, hmm, and this is another one. This will, this is the bottom. This is the snowman. Here, I'll sh let me get the head and then I'll show you what it looks like because I know you're curious. Isn't it cute? Okay, so snowman cookie jar. Maybe after all this worry with COVID and everything, 
I can have specialty open houses again with Christmas cookies inside of them. Isn't that cute? Very cute. So, all right. And next, in December, because, oh, this is a good tip for people buying in December. You know, when you're borrowing the money and you're getting a loan, and one of my favorite things to tell buyers at the very beginning is, is if you're borrowing the money, don't even buy underwear without checking with your lender first. Okay, so that could be a problem, Houston, in December, because, hello, Christmas shopping! So you really have to speak, you know, Oh, please don't break anything. That mother would never speak to me again. Definitely speak to your lender if you are planning on charging Christmas or, you know, spending uh, big money on Christmas gifts or anything like that because, you know, you've got to think they, that by they, I mean, the, the mortgage company, the bank, the lender, they want to see consistency in your checking account. So if you say you have these bills, these payments are coming out of your account, they don't want to see any strange cash deposits or money coming and going out, big chunks of money going and back. They, everything has to be documented. They have to know exactly what you're doing. And you don't want to change your credit score by charging up your credit cards when they weren't charged up when you qualified. So by the time you get to the closing table, they pull credit on you again because they will. They'll pull it at the last minute, pull it again and see what your scores are. And if they see that things have changed and you've charged up a credit card, you could not get the house because of that. So that's another thing to think about during Christmas is that you do not lose the dishes. You do not want to have that affect your home purchase. So definitely speak to your lender before you go on your Christmas shopping spree. What I would recommend is plan ahead. If you know you're going to be buying a house at Christmas and you know that you need to buy Christmas presents, either buy early and go ahead and have them all or be putting aside cash, you know, put cash aside we used to, there was a thing, okay, so my parents owned a plumbing company and we had um, Christmas club through the bank. So every paycheck you could opt for taking out five, 10, 20, whatever dollars out of each paycheck. And it would go straight to this Christmas club account, which was like a savings account at the bank. And then I want to say at Thanksgiving, yeah, right. The week of Thanksgiving, they would cash out everybody's Christmas club account and you would get that Christmas club check at Thanksgiving and that would be your Christmas spending money. So, okay, I can't do math in my head, but say you did, say you got paid every week and you put up $20 a week for 52 weeks. Uh, do the math for that, which would be 20 times 52 is bing, $1,040. Yeah, I can do math. Not really. I had to edit this in there because I can't do math in my head. But, you know, I could be a really awesome realtor without doing math in my head. That's why God created calculators. So... That also would be a good good thing to do when you are planning on ooh, goodness. When you are planning on buying during Christmas. Plan ahead. Plan ahead, people. Know that you're gonna be doing that. Because then that way you have your cash to buy all your Christmas money and and the it doesn't affect your, your loan. And all is well with your world. And you're welcome for that little tidbit. And Christmas Club. I don't even know if they do that anymore. I may have to find out because I, you know, so my, obviously we don't have the plumbing company anymore. My mother's 86 or will be 86 this year. This December 31st, my mother's birthday is Christmas, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve. 
So, hold on. Look at this stack of paper here. I gotta move this. <laughs> that Christmas cloud idea, that's a great idea. I'm gonna have to find out if um, my bank will do a Christmas cloud. Yeah, I'm so glad I did this video and I said that out loud because now I remember. But anyway, so that's a good tidbit about buying a home in December. And I gave you your tidbit about selling a home in December. So to go back, circle back, circle back, land the plane, Larry, land the plane. To answer your question about is it a good time to sell or buy in December, the answer is yeah. It is. It's a very good time. You just have to do certain things in a special way. That's all. I'm digging these. Digging these, digging these, digging these. All right, and I'm down to the bottom of this box, and we are done. Christmas spode. About to be out. Well, first it's got to be washed, and then it'll be out. These are the coffee cup coffee cup saucers because we are definitely the coffee drinking family and the tumblers can you see that I love these and then that's what it was like on the other side so awesome all right so that would be your tips for buying or selling your home in the month of December I hope you enjoyed this video of me standing here unwrapping all of my mother's beautiful Christmas china <laughs> and talking about buying and selling a house in December because what else would I be doing at eh, 8.30 at night on a Wednesday? <laughs> okay, y'all, go forth and rock your day. And I will see you next time.